Good morning from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Tuesday, February 28, 2017. The 1942 Century Imperial Sportsman project just passed a major, major milestone. The, her bottom is completely refastened. All the structural work on it has been completed. We've begun fairing uh, the countersink holes. All the holes on the port side have been fared completely and that bottom has received three coats of clear penetrating epoxy sealer. Uh, as you can see by the mess, I am now fully enjoying myself filling the seams with uh, Interlock seam compound. In the end, uh, we just couldn't save any of the fasteners. Um, they were broken, decayed, uh, they'd all been wet. They're probably the original brass fasteners. That's 1942, so let's uh, do the math. 58, 68, 75 years, those have been in place. They just weren't grabbing anymore. So uh, we toothpicked all of the holes after releasing all of the fasteners. And on the ribs, we installed eight by one and a quarter flathead Frearson wood screws. And into the battens, we drove We drove six by three quarters. So this is the, the starboard side of the bottom. Completely refastened, absolutely rock solid at this point. John has begun applying the first coat of uh, 3M premium filler. It'll take three to fill the countersinks. And as you can see, we fare the tails of the uh, bottom planks. And then after three coats are in place, we use our Hutchins longboard pneumatic sander and 80 grit paper and sand off all the high parts so that the bottom is absolutely fair. All the counter sinks are full. And then uh, the final stage before we begin putting bottom paint on her is to fill her seams. And if you remember, she came in with her seams full of uh, 5200, had buckled the planks, and that forced us to replace this plank, this plank, display. They are buckled beyond saving. So now we're in the process of filling the seams. Our product of choice is Interlux seam compound. We use brown. It actually it is the, the only choice for the seam compound for underwater applications, underwater seams. I work it into the, the seam with a very flexible putty knife working across the seam so that I can be sure I have filled it all the way to the bottom. And it, lots of people ask us, why does it take you so long to to preserve a boat. I mean, all you do is sort of sand it, you fix up a few fasteners and paint it, and varnish it, and that shouldn't take all that long. Well, there are all these things like filling the counter sinks, fairing them properly, sealing with a clear penetrating epoxy sealer, and then steps like inserting seam compound into all the seams. Nobody's going to see this when the job's done. There'll be paint over it. 
So as far as anybody knows, this never happened. Well, you put her in the water and you'll know whether it happened or not. So the process is to fill the seams as best you can. I will come back with a second coat to fill any voids that result. You don't want to leave seam sealer on the face of the bottom plate. So, per the label on the can, grab yourself a rag of some sort. I use the terry cloth, cotton terry cloth towels, and scrub everything off the surface, leaving material only between the plates. So, it's great to see this bottom fully intact, strong, and almost ready to float. I'll keep working filling seams, and John later today will be back uh, filling counter sinks with their first coat of the uh, 3M Premium Marine Filler. Once he's got that all done and has sanded the uh, starboard face of the, of the bottom, we can proceed with uh, sealing, filling the seams, priming, and painting. Uh, her bottom's going to be a, a beautiful, dark, dark, very rich, very true green. Can't wait to see it. Thank you so much. Goodbye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.